Now, our guest today is not only a Coronation Street legend, but a friend of mine who is right by my side in I'm a Celeb. Look, look at her in action. Oh! Such an iconic scene, that one. Um, she helped me through the highs and lows of the jungle, and I genuinely couldn't have got through it without her. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Sue Cleaver! <laughs> Blue so the good to see you. Good to see you. Love. I say that I spent the last three days with Sid. Yeah, yeah. I feel um, I'm so I feel over very... her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you were out last night, I think, weren't you? Yeah, uh, me, Sue, and Sean went out last night for, for dinner. Very tame. Lots of tea. Lots of Lots tea. Of tea. Yeah. tea. Tea. Yeah. What came after the tea? Yeah. Well, there might well. have been a vodka for me. But that's another <laughs> story. Um, what's life been like since you got out? Great! A bit of a whirlwind. Yeah. I mean, you must have found the same. It's just sort of like, oh, oh we're back. Um, it's very cold. Yeah. It's very yeah. cold. Yeah. Not really enjoying that. You've had your hair say. cut? Had my hair cut, finally. That's oh, my flame. gosh. I mean, I look like a, well... I can't even say it on television. It's <laughs> shocking. It's absolutely shocking. But yeah, it was, it's good to be back. Why did you decide to do it? I did it. After the pandemic, I think all of us sort of, you know, it, it affected us all in different ways. Yeah. Uh, there was a lot of time at home, a lot of drinking. Um, <laughs> yeah. A lot of eating, a lot of just, you know, and I just started to think about things. And I'm 59 this wow. year, so I'm in my 60th year, and I thought, do you know, I need to get myself out of my comfort zone. I really do. I feel like I've done my job. My son's 27. I've always been about, you know, making sure everybody's OK, making sure the mm. family's all right and, you know, but... And I thought, this is my time now, and I've made the decision that this decade is for me, and I am oh. going to make yeah. the challenge yeah. So you were effectively being healthily selfish? Healthily, healthily yeah, selfish. I really like that. I, exactly. I, I'm going to continue being healthily selfish, because I think it's really important. As women, we do put our families first, mm. everybody. Yeah. And I'm like, this decade, it's about me. Yeah. You know, really you, like you, 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 when you was in um, A Celebrity, you spoke about your parents and your uh, mm. being adopted and your mum and it was such a vulnerable moment and so much people connected with it. When you came out, did you realise you had such an impact? I never... I, I, I kind of surprised myself. I never expected to talk about it. I mean, I think that's the other thing. I've always been a really private person and I'm, I've also gone, why am I being so private and so reserved yeah. about everything? You know, I'm, I'm, I've earned who I am, I know who I am, I like who I am. If you don't like me, tough. Yeah. Um, but I, I didn't expect to talk about it, but I felt so safe mm. that you'll agree in that group yeah. of pa mm. people. We felt very, very safe and supported. Do you and forget that out. millions of people are watching. Oh, absolutely, yeah, yeah. absolutely. And did you expect she, to find I clearly did, bombs. because she said to me one day, she was sat there stroking my hair, she went, your hair's so lovely and soft, even though it's coloured. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's just that. <laughs> People that <laughs> she's like <laughs> saying, look, oh, your braids are so long and luscious. They're not real. <laughs> <laughs> but other than that, Charlene helped you through some. You oh, helped each other yes, through hard yeah, times, definitely. didn't you? I other mean, when when she's out in your hair. Charlene is brilliant to be with. Charlene's very organised. I mean, I'm 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 not as organised, but I mean, when it came to the food, nobody put the hand up or anything about on the first meal what we're going to do. Mm. We used to talk about it all the time. She was brilliant at banking the rice or the beans of, like, making sure we had something left in case we had a lean day. I'm terrible. Once I have to start using my fingers for adding up, it's gone. <laughs> she was brilliant at that. Yeah. And, 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 you know, two mums. Yeah. Just like, everyone can talk the talk and say they want to do this. Well, well, get up and do it. If you're not going to do it, we're going to get in and we're going to do it. I think people watching it don't <laughs> realise how important that was, cos we yeah. had Kadina that did that for us, you know. She always made sure we had food banked, cos if you don't win big that yeah. night, then everyone's starving. When Charlene went, food was not banked. Exactly. <laughs> so there was the a bird. shortage of beans. <laughs> <laughs> well, you said you're going to be you're going to be 60 next year. What yeah. what 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 do you what's coming up for you? What do you feel like you? I you, think we should do a girls trip. Next? I think we should do a girls I trip. That'd be really fun. Definitely. Yeah, yeah, it's something different. Don't want I'm, I'm not doing. A, I'm not really into parties. But I'm, I can't be bothered with parties. Sorry. Um, I like a dinner party, but yeah, uh, yeah something like a girls trip or yeah. another another adventure. I, I think I want to. I want to push myself to do something I that, that I go, 
Oh, gosh, I can't imagine doing that, but, yeah, let's give it a go. It was, it was amazing for me to have you in there, and I've spoken about it before, but as soon as you walked into camp and we gave each other a massive hug, I just thought, I found my friend. Mm. Oh, and it was a very too. immediate thing, and I felt so safe around Sue, and it was a personality and someone who has so much life experience. I needed that, mm. and I had that in Sue. And I remember when I had my meltdown after doing the Wall Street Grave challenge, and I walked back into camp, and Sue was asleep on one of the hammocks. I thought, I'm not going to wake her up. I was in such a state, I thought, I'm not going to wake her up. I'm just going to go and shower, mm. and I'll see if she's um, awake when I, when I leave. And I just remember being in the shower and finishing up and then just seeing her run down the steps of camp and then run up the steps to the shower and just holding me in a hug as I just absolutely burst into tears because she'd woken up and realised that I was back and she hadn't seen me. Yeah. And I think the other guys must have said that I was really upset and she literally just ran to me. Yeah. And I think to her, she was amazing. Yeah. <laughs> she was just... And that's when Sue talks about feeling safe, it's because we all felt so safe around each other and... She hadn't known me that long, and yet she knew that that's what I needed, and I'll be forever grateful for having can, her in. Can I just say that the, the truth about why she was really upset was because they wouldn't let her wear a corset. <laughs> <laughs> that, this is why we love you. <laughs> she probably wasn't wearing very much at all in the shower. No, but we seen each other naked. Oh, we oh, seen oh, 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 right. it. And, and yeah. for me especially, <laughs> it looks a lot better with this on. No, <laughs> you look beautiful God. naked. No, you do. We, we were, we Did saw you see everything. anybody else naked? Well, I wasn't really looking for this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I would. No. <laughs> No, because because we had awful all over us. Yeah. We had to shower. Yeah. And we had George and Jill holding up the towels. And we were trying to be very British about it and trying to sort of wash with our bikinis on and, and stuff. Couldn't. And then we realised this isn't going to work. So we both just took everything off. Wow. And then we were both... When you've got a cow's naked. windpipe stuck in your costume, you've <laughs> yeah. got to rip it off. Yeah. Oh, my I mean, God, seriously. that sounds awful. Did anyone see Matt naked? That's all... Well... <laughs> No, but I'll tell you what, the one thing you didn't see, that we had... Uh, we went on the, uh, on the barbecue. Yeah. Oh, well, that was on the, the barbecue. We, we went on the beach barbecue. <laughs> well, and then on the way back, we said, we need to steal the food, because <gasps> everyone was starving. So Jill had a steak in a hat and in a bra. Yeah, yeah, she had I steak had, in a bra. I had mm. the bread down the back of my socks and salt and pepper in my gilet pocket. How did you get away And with Matt that? had sausages in his trousers. So when he came back into camp... Of course camp, he did. Everyone <laughs> just thought that, you know... Well, and then you, it, they you were ate pleased that. to see him. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody ate the bread that's oh, been in your socks. Oh, yeah. Oh, you were hungry. Amazing. In your and socks. the way I told them, the yeah. scarlet signs, and I can just do the <laughs> oh, alphabet no. signing. Mm. So I alphabet mm. signed, get the cooking pot to the dunny. We've got food. Do you know what? If I, I had... Then we emptied it all yeah. in the toilet I'm into this pot and brought it back in. you oh alphabet God. signing to Scarlett. Yeah. Matt's got sausage in his... Matt's <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> but that wasn't the only naughty thing we did. We had a on this show. <laughs> <laughs> you were, you and Mike were so naughty oh, in there. I know, I know, I know. We became... When, when you've got no control, and humans naturally want control, you kind of grab it where you can. And you did. So... And you guys were so naughty. Yes, we were. And, we kept, and all we kept hearing was, Sue, can you come to the Bush Telegraph, please, because you've been naughty. But anyway, Sue, thank you so much. Oh, thank you. Thank you.